And we have a secret rare swap frog. That looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that water looks like water droplets in the back. Or the secret rare looks like water droplets. Man, it's like, she's bay, but it, frog, froggy. Oh man, froggy. <laughs>
I think I'm just gonna keep that one sealed for right now, and then we'll go ahead and maybe open it later, like off camera. And we get, uh, let's see here, six special packs as they call them and um if you saw that last opening i did of the chronicle binder let's actually do this the chronicle binder this feels like that where it's like glossy premium packaging um you could probably tear them open this way but uh they lack the little holder hole um if you've ever seen like on shelves and stores they have like the little the hooks to hang things on and uh, ocg packs generally have like a little thing for that but this does not so we're gonna go open this i have no idea if this is like a set ratio of anything or if it's like a if it's totally uh random i i don't know this one i did not do my homework on just for the the random uh fun there it actually says lgb1 which is like legendary gold box here and i think ocg japan had a different uh set with that code but i'm not exactly sure this is cool this is rainbow neos of course try not to touch the cards on the front we have tg hyper librarian it actually says uh tech genus uh because that's what it is we have um galaxy eyes photon dragon um this feels even glossier than they usually are are the backs like this too let me see um sort of like the ocg has this kind of like matte gloss on things oxymoron as that is but like a matte finish on the backs of their cards that tcg does not but you can see the front has this extra sheen in addition to that uh intentional parallel foil so interesting there we have advanced dark and this thing looks really dark i thought this was a platinum rare or something at first glance and uh oh cool we have a uh, shooting star dragon tech genus what is that called uh it says extension i think it's such small text that it's hard for me to read but um yeah looking at this there was a mix of gx 5ds uh zexel um advanced gx i guess and then like a retrained card so maybe this is just random i'm not exactly sure quite yet but we'll go ahead and keep chugging through here because there's plenty to open here and today we're especially going to do kind of a mix between uh enjoy as we go but uh definitely go uh, so we don't end up uh, spending forever we have number 99 i think this is like hope dragon utopic dragon something like that this is a pretty interesting card 4000 attack look at that we have uh this is a red no red nova dragon Dragon, I believe. Uh, let's see here. It says uh, Scarred Nova Dragon. So Scar Red Nova Dragon. I think it's just called Red Nova Dragon for TCG. It's like the uh, the counterpart to Shooting Quasar, I believe, because he's like the level 12. But he was a 10. I remember that. Um, we have Spirit of White, Dragon Spirit of White, Creation uh, Resonator thing, Resonator Call. Yeah, that's the name of the card. And we have. Um, I don't know what this is. This is like a Galaxy Phantasm looking card. It actually says Galaxy Eyes Epitoglow Dragon. Afterglow Dragon. So very nice looking card. Again, with that night, nice uh, matte finish there. It's shiny, but it's not shiny. Like, oh man, I just love the feel of these OCG cards. This feels like a promo though. Um, even though it looks like the cards are numbered in such a way that this does feel like it's supposed to be just a random booster pack. Otherwise, uh, we would have gotten cards with a uh, uh, sequential numbers and i don't believe that's the case here so yeah we'll, we'll see let me know down in the comments if you know which way it is uh one way or the other are, are these set or are the random i think they're random oh cool we got a s39 uh utopic uh what is it the utopia one I, I forget his name it says utopia one but uh that guy that has 25 10 attack you like put him as one more layer on your uh lightning and then we have our um Barrelode Savage Dragon, which is pretty cool. It actually says Barrelode Savage Dragon. Barrel being like a barrel. Um, pronounced that way or written that way. We have Sage with Eyes of Blue. Very cool. Uh, important card for Blue Eyes, of course. Level 1 tuner. We have a uh, Photon. I forget what this is called. Photon Sanctuary, I think. Um, and then I thought this was the Clash of Rebellions cover card, but I think this is one we may not have in the TCG. It is so hard for me to read that text. Oh my god, like that is so tiny there. And like, the way it is with Korean, I mean, I'm not a native Korean reader, to be honest, uh, but it looks like it says Pewang Hukyong, so some kind of king, uh, black dragon, uh, or dark dragon, or dirt dragon, technically, if you read it. It says, uh, Old Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overload, so an overload rebellion dragon um he's obviously the pendulum guy so he's kind of cool i think this is a new retrain of the card 
uh, from Clash of Rebellion. So kind of cool to see that card. Again, I don't know if that card has been in the TCG or not. It's not made any like significant impact on my brain. So I don't know if I just saw it and never cared or if I've never seen the card before. Um, we'll go ahead and open this. We got like, a, I think this is called like Zhangke Magician in TCG. It actually says Sangguge uh, Masursa, which is actually all in Korean. Uh, Masursa being a magician. We have number 62. This guy, the Prime Photon Dragon, I think was, this is the Primal Origin uh, Prio uh, cover card. We have another Dragon Spirit of White. Oh, I don't know what this card is. It says Chiokmune Keyakso. So it actually says something about a contract to hell. So <laughs> I think this might be a DD card. Yeah, it actually says DD in there. So uh, that's what that is. And we got another one of these. Okay, this is definitely not a promo. Uh, it's a random pack, and I just pulled two of these things, which, like, okay, I I'm kind of. I I'm, I'm kind of pleased knowing that this is random. So maybe we could pull something totally cool. I don't even know what's in the set again. So I don't know what we're hoping for, but uh, we'll aim for something really cool. We have, uh, let's see here, DD Kichiwang, uh, Kichiwang, I think it says, uh, Abyss, Abyss, Ragnarok, Ragnarok. DD something King Ragnarok. I don't know if we have that. Here is that guy I was talking about, the Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon. We have this. Sage, we have sign it back door, and we have another one of these. So, um, so far it's repeating. So, does that mean we're gonna get uh, one of these? I guess is the pattern here. Um, we'll have to see. This is the last special pack, and I thought it was the case, but you could kind of see the the special pack words and the circle and all this does shine in gold there, and uh, yeah, so kind of interesting to see. The details on that. It's just something we don't normally get um, in this quality in the TCG. Like, even a premium looking set, we don't get packaging like this. It's just like, oh, packaging is going to be thrown away anyway. Um, oh, we got something really cool, boys. So we got a, uh, let's see here, uh, repeats. We have Gagaga -ga -ga Cowboy, another one of these, and sweet. So this is a Alter art of Borlo Dragon in extra secret rare that you can only get in. Uh, actually, I think this they call this prismatic secret rare. So uh, basically, starlight rare now. Um, I thought it was an extra secret for a second. Though that's a possibility in the rarity collection. But holy crap, this is something that we can get in maximum gold once that drops. Uh, so very very cool. I'm gonna put this up here. Like uh, that that's like the one card that I need out of this set. I guess again, I don't even know what's in it, but it's like hey, if I pulled that, I think I pulled everything that I want to. And I'll do like uh, another recap at the very end of all this just to show. There's like something sticking to some of the cards. I thought it was damage, but no, I think it's just something sticking to them. But we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at all those at the end, all the important cards, right? And uh, time to see what this thing is now. Oh, man, it is the Dark Magician himself. So it matches with this, I guess. Uh, you could kind of could have figured, but it wouldn't have surprised me if it were something different. Also, you know how Konami is in the TCG. Like, heck, it could have been anything else. But uh, it, it's random. So it could have been Dark Magician like we got. Um, yeah, so that's actually this one. So we have Dark Magician. This is actually from my collection thing. If you saw my most recent video on, like, the, you know, if I haven't been uploading, here's why, blah, blah, blah. Um, this was in the background of one of those. And we also have as you might expect red eyes black dragon man that looks gorgeous now doesn't it so we have this thing here it's just so shiny here oh man it's actually raised up in embossed foiling like we would expect on the other card i'll actually bring back dark magician with this giant top loader and if anyone's wondering oh where'd you get the giant top loader for this it, it's actually like a photo thing i was literally looking up like photo hard case on eBay and I found it had like a stock photo of a rabbit or something as the thing but it holds sheets big enough for this uh, card you can see it's like barely good at the top but like it maybe look up some videos on Pokemon cards because they're the same size as those oversized uh, jumbo cards there and um, yeah like this just looks beautiful you could see that gorgeous glow there oh man everything just looks so so cool with this so i had to get some of these um this thing is actually going to my buddy so um if you're watching friend you know who you are i'll set this aside for you for when the the pandemic's uh, settled down a little bit here but for now we'll kind of like set him up to the side he'll be off the camera but that's fine i need more room uh, to be able to open the next order of business which 
Now we have this thing here, the Rarity Collection 2020. You can see Prismatic Secret Rares, which I thought that thing was. Actually, no, that thing is. Uh, we have Ultra Rare, Super Rare, Secret Rare, and Extra Secret Rare. That's what I'm wondering if maybe we get um, only one box this time. Uh, I usually open like a few of these things on camera, but... Um, this year, I wanted to do something different, and I stopped using OCG cards on my channel, as you can see. Just because I started using TCG cards again, I'm like, wow, these look <laughs> really pretty. Like, if I had to choose one to use, I'd personally like the OCG. But given the fact that, you know, like, there was a period of time um, when I got back from Korea last year, I was like, oh man, I want to get more serious into Yu-Gi-Oh again. Didn't have time, and my job didn't really agree with me, but uh, I was thinking, you know, it it's nice to be able to read all your cards on the spot just so you can, like, really double check nuances on the spot it just became more of a thing like i always thought if you memorize your cards you'll do even better uh seriously because you'll be forced to memorize them and that helps to some degree but i felt there was some limitation in reading in a second language even if you're familiar with korean it's not exactly the same like problem solving text and such but anyway we have a very sick clean looking super rare foolish rare goods i know it came in super and tcg but like this just looks really clean and i gotta say i love that we have anti-spell fragrance i think this was in one of these sets before harpy's feather duster as an ultra rare and secret rare there can be only one and man does that secret rare look cool look at that you see not only a parallel foiling here uh in the typical tic-tac-toe shape but you can kind of see here like there's like another normal secret rare within that and i just love the the way they do that so we're actually just going to go ahead and put these down here. And again, at the very end of this video, I'll do kind of a recap of all the nice goodies that we got. The high rarity stuff especially. And uh, yeah, this is going to be really cool. Only four packs in this. I think you get one non-super rare. Actually, no, I thought you get one non-super rare, but we just got two. I thought we got one non-super rare per pack. You get four cards per pack. There's 15 packs, so good number of stuff there. We got Rise of the Dragon Lord. Still an expensive card in TCG, actually. Gamma Seal is a super. I think that happened before as well. We have Infinite Impermanence still kind of up to there until uh, we get the full force of the uh, Megatons bringing things down. Or not the Megatons. The Maximum Gold bringing it down. And Secret Rare Crackdown. This looks kind of like what we got in our Megaton, but I still think this just looks like with that nice match Sheen there. Mm, this card is just so, so nice looking. Actually, I think I gave my brother my Korean copies of Infinite Impermanence to use, and uh, I didn't have enough. Oh, wait, no, I, I gave him some English copies, and he didn't have any. I was thinking for a second, oh, yeah, he can proxy now. Well, he can proxy, but he already has those. Uh, forgot to give him that. Oh, we pulled something nice, but I'm not going to see that yet, right? <laughs> we got Sky Striker, Mobilizing Gage. I love this archetype. I know people moved on from it, but I just love this theme thematically, you know, theme thematically, word choice there. Uh, we got this white stingray guy. Uh, we got, oh, super polymerization. That looks very nice as an ultra. What is our pretty card? It's a tour guide from the underworld as a prismatic secret. And holy crap, that looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I did not expect we were going to get this kind of stuff. Like, if you saw my previous openings, I, if I recall correctly, I think we pulled, like, maybe one extra secret rare out of one of them. That was it, if I opened multiple boxes. So, man, this card's so gorgeous. I have every version of Tour Guide just because it's been an iconic card in dueling, of course. But for me personally as well, like, I remember hunting with my friends trying to get the Battle Pack version. We didn't in an entire box worth. Um... There's just been so many times. Like, I remember buying Tour Guide's full price when they were, like, 90-plus dollars each uh, back in the day. Like, this card just has so many memories. I'm holding on to the ult even though I'm not even playing it. It's like a few hundred dollars now. Out of work, but uh, still love my tour guides. And man, this will definitely join that collection. Love, love this artwork. And love the fact that it is that original artwork. So I'm going to put her back here uh, so she doesn't accidentally get destroyed uh, in this front part here. So, so far so good. We're uh, This is the fourth pack, I think, that I'm about to cut open here. And uh, yeah, I am shaking the packs to make sure I don't cut cards. I cut a big eye like that once and ooh, it was big oof there. But um, yeah, so far so good. We're uh, getting... Is that another? Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, thank you for the luck today. We got a uh, super rare called by the grave. We have a uh, cyber dragon next And actually they wrote next next uh, uh, in uh, OCG. So that's pretty cool. We got a uh, ghost girl and uh, or ghost sister and uh, bloom and dogwood. Yeah, if, if she's ghost girl, then it's like, well, yeah, she's a hand trap. Let's see what else we got. And oh, wow. This is an actual extra secret rare. As you can see, it has just like the normal secret rare diagonal pattern there. 
And it says, uh, this is the uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss, I believe. Um, man, it says, Yammaryong Red Dragon Abyss. And man, this card just looks so cool in this rarity. We don't get stuff like this. It's like, I wouldn't mind getting secret rares sometimes as this, um, a little more frequently than prismatic secret rares, or starlights rather, in our sets. Like, come on, Konami, like, no one's gonna say no to a few more rarities. If anything, it's just gonna increase the value of the product. So, I mean, you know, considering the OCG has the templates for this stuff and they're able to produce it, you would think TCG would be able to market it, and if it's like one in a case, let's say, like, why don't they do it? Um, super version of VFD, if you've ever wondered why people call it VFD uh, for King of All Calamities, it's actually called VFD, um, that's why. So it says, Jin Yong Huang Ta Pisit, so it's like the beast, I guess, even though that's not VFD. Um, but yeah, that's why it says VFD. Uh, we have uh, Pancratops as a super rare. That's a nice card. We have the uh, original art of Chaos Dragon Leviathan. It actually says Revionia. Uh, I was interested in the Korean pronunciation of that. I'm not used to this artwork, to be honest, because I never played the original art. I always played the, the reprint version. And we have a secret rare version of our uh, anti-spell. So I guess we're getting two supers, an ultra, and then one higher rarity. So uh, considering we've opened, what is that, five packs so far, and only three of them have been regular secret rares i think that's pretty darn good so far we're getting uh um not necessarily money's worth is what i'm tracking but we're getting our value out of this box here uh we got um an abyss dweller always a cool card white stingray guy we got this is my favorite artwork for the ghost uh, sisters for the original artworks um for the uh updated artworks i really like the ghost stoker and snow rabbit um uh, retrain art but man this card just like such a pretty artwork here man i love that and we got a secret rare version of gren majudeiza and let me actually see it actually says uh purgun masu da iza so yeah it actually is gren it actually says Masu, not Maju, so that's kind of interesting. Because they could say Maju if they wanted in Korean, but I don't know. Maybe it's just based on the origin of the card. Nonetheless, um, Secret Rare I don't think is something we've seen for Gren Maju. And uh, as you can kind of notice here, uh, any card in the Super Pool, like the Anti-Spell, can be a secret. So uh, it, it, this is a very unique set in that anything can be like this. And again, OCG had it, so our Japan OCG had it, so that you could get any of these in Premium Gold instead of all these other rarities. So it was like their special thing. We have Salomon Great All Mirage as a super rare. Looks like a premium pack version. We have Crackdown, which we got in secret before. Yes, we got Sky Striker Ace Kagari. Um, not the other artwork, unfortunately, but still very cool. And we got a secret rare Armageddon Knight. Wow. Like, imagine this type of a reprint set. Like, I know we get the Megatons and we shouldn't be spoiled because OCG honestly doesn't get uh, too many reprint sets besides things like this. Um, and then like throw-ins for when they get like a Link Frames pack or something like that. But, um, Man, I would love a set like this in the TCG. Like, let me know what you guys think. I know I've always asked that question whenever I open something like this, but like, would you buy something like this? I think I would. Like, I think I'd buy more product in the TCG if it was uh, something like this as a side set. Why not? We got Relinquished Anima. We have a super rare version of There Can Be Only One. We got Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Okay, that makes sense considering um, any card with an alternate artwork can also be in this set, as is the Japanese as well. And we have a secret rare swap frog that looks so beautiful oh my gosh that water looks like water droplets in the back or the secret liver looks like water droplets man it's like she's bay but they, frog froggy oh man froggy <laughs> look at this thing wow and again i love how shiny this is but then the card itself has this nice matte coating so it's like if you've ever seen those ultra pro uh, matte sleeves that i detest uh, it's basically the cards have gotten that concept down better than that product did so very very nice oh my gosh i did not know i needed that frog in my life um which reminds me oh ho, ho, ho. maybe i won't spend a hundred plus dollars for uh, this card in the tcg i'll just use this copy now we got cross out designator so in case you've never seen this card i'll go ahead and put the information here on the right but essentially what it lets you do is if your opponent plays plays a card, you can activate this and banish a card in your deck with the same original name, and it's like called by the grave on that from your deck. So, uh, staples and mirror matches are gonna totally change once this card comes out. Like, this is no question. If you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, you need this card if you're playing any competitive level at all. Honestly, if, even if you're playing online, you probably want access to this thing. Man, this is going to be a huge one. So I'm gonna put this up here because this is a special card that I have never had. Um, 
thus far. So this thing is a uh, Shade Brigandine as a non gold uh, secret rare so i honestly would like this too even if it just came out in a super rare in like a random side set like this would look really cool and this is of course very clean we have rum the seventh one so rank up magic the seventh one and secret rare maxi i forgot this card's at three in the ocg man this looks gorgeous i'm gonna keep this uh uh we'll keep it down here for now it's banned in the tcg i know good riddance i mean I've gone back and forth with that card, honestly, uh, just off camera. I've never said anything about Maxi because it's, like, so polarizing. Like, I personally think this. If we had Maxi back at 3, it would be a very different game for sure. It'd be a fun game, I think, in some ways, um, but very different. Like, you know, both games you have to prepare for, right? So uh, that's the thing. We have, uh, I think this is, like, a something schedule, um, but it's the train card. We have the uh, Red Blossoms Under Root. It's very pretty artwork. Um... A shame that it's so reliant on a specific setup with your opponent's graveyard too that it's not really playable but i love this thing's artwork so very very nice we got another super poly we'll never say no to that and we got the alternate art tour guide as well but uh still that uh prismatic secret rare is absolutely gorgeous i like this alter art though like tour guide's one of the few cards where like i like both of its artworks and uh it would be very hard for me to decide which tour guide to play if i wanted to play tour guide in one of my decks because uh yeah, both artworks look very cool. I love, like, look at Sangin and his little trinoculars. Freaking trinoculars, dude. Like, that's just crazy. You don't normally see trinoculars, but uh, Sangin makes it work. Uh, Krita, as he's called in uh, TCG, of course. We have um, a Melody of Awakening Dragon. Uh, we have a uh, Steam Synchron. This is a card I don't think we got other than 5D's Legendary Collection as a rare or something. So, uh, very interesting to see here. We got a Cyber Dragon Infinity. I remember hunting down the ultra rare version of this thing, like, going to this card shop in Korea finding another card shop like looking around like crazy and I finally found it that was like the highlight of my Korea trip back in I think it was like 2017 I think because it was the year after it came out for us in Bosch but man ultra rare Sidra coming in with the memories here and wow we got a, a extra secret rare version of Shade Brigandine if cards are like this I might start playing the OCG cards again oh my gosh this looks so so cool and the fact that this is the second one in a box I guess they're valuing extra secret rares as a lower rarity now because um we got two in this box plus we got uh, a prismatic secret as well man just like please Konami I don't care what it is even if it's like maybe it is actually a rare gold letter thing I don't remember in maximum gold but like give us some foil hopefully uh non gold secret rare version of this card it deserves it and it's obviously seeing a ton of play right now at least hype with the new phantom rage support so man 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 oh man that looks really cool oh what else is waiting for us in this set I mean oh hey miracle fusion that's always cool to see we have the hero support of course we got a uh, mm, oh by the way maxi is actually called maximum g in ocg because uh i think it's a gokubure or whatever gokubore basically is a cockroach um we have ash blossom and joyous spring as an ultra rare haru urara in the ocg so that's really cool and we got <laughs> secret rare pot of extravagance and that looks just like our prismatic secret rare if not shinier i think because again it has that kind of weird uh diagonal foil going on within uh the the uh hatches as well the cross hatch man just like you know that question i asked earlier do you want a set like this I i'll ask it again do you guys want this set in the tcg would you buy it up uh, i think yes i would and uh everyone would be very happy with it we got raigeki here and man look at how shiny that is in the middle that's not just the camera spazzing out like my eyes are doing that too um, that's just very very reflective with like no color you can see my finger reflected on the card it's a mirror wow uh we got an ultra rare version of swap or sorry super rare version of swap frog here uh ultra rare version of the original art for ghost reaper and winter cherries missed that card and then that schedule thing you know okay i'll show it for the train fans there that actually does look very gorgeous as a secret by the way i think we got it as an ultra rare originally maybe um and then it was like reprinted in some other rarity maybe a super or something so to see it as a secret rare is a nice treat um and i think we should go ahead and uh let everyone do that what Halka Fibrex as a super rare. I remember this was an ultra rare or a secret rare, uh, shiny secret rare, like um, what we would call, uh, the what is it called? Uh, I think we called, uh, what are our Megaton secret rares called? I'm blanking on that name right now, but 
basically this type of secret rare. That's what this could be in Link Frames pack, and I guess they updated this, so it's just a super rare reprint. OCG has this card limited to one, and Link Cross banned right now, so it's kind of interesting. Um, I think TCG, though, uh, and OCG, I guess, Konami is thinking of keeping their newer cards, and it's like, if a newer card can stay without being banned, even if that means a ton of cards get hit, so be it. And uh, obviously, right now, it's very weird with the pandemic going on, so things aren't as... Uh, organic as things would normally be with ban lists and such but still weird that this card's around but their design philosophy seems to be oh you have a broken card well the game's going to be played with the broken card and you got to deal with it now uh super rare armageddon knight ultra rare ghost ogre and snow rabbit the classic og artwork not my favorite but still um i, I think it's up there i think i'd say it's second to uh the ghost spell in my book there and then we have wow we got a second copy of this thing and uh cross out designator this time is a secret or you could really see that parallel thing i'm talking about here wow wow Wow, wow. And uh, <laughs> like Simo said, can't wait to see this card change into Nobleman of Crossout uh, or Extermination in the, the Necro, or not the Necros, the Ice Barrier deck that we get in the TCG. Because, you know, Konami of America, TCG, they, they would totally do something like that. But, uh, oh man. Okay, what can we get in this last pack? Honestly, unless we just get like something stupid, crazy rare that I didn't even know was in here, I think we pretty much got everything we need. But uh, we got another Red Dragon Abyss, got a super rare Grand Majula Isa, we got an ultra rare tour guide, nice and clean. I like that. And and we got a secret rare, just plain secret rare, but very, very nice looking. Shade we need so full playset right there. Man, this looks so cool. I'm going to be right back, guys, organize some things, and we'll be right back with a recap. Okay, so now that things are a little tidied up, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at all these cards here. Here first, just the secret rares in no particular order. Kind of just clumped them up based on the card types that they have. I did notice, though, we actually didn't pull any alternate arts at all in this rarity collection. Um, I'll just have to wait until the maximum gold set comes out. And uh, I think it's going to ship to me out, actually, on Friday release date. And then uh, I'll end up getting it probably, like... Maybe the weekend, probably more like uh, early next week, but I'll definitely be doing an opening of at least a few boxes of those from that case. Heck, it might be the whole case. Depends on what you guys want. If you're here, you get to, to give me input if you'd like on that. But uh, yeah, and it, it's just really cool seeing some of these are just different versions of cards that we have. Some of these are uh, cards that we've never seen before in these rarities or stuff like this just straight up have never seen at all. Um, we have, you know, things like this. This gorgeous secret rare Shade Brigandine. And, and let me actually read this card's uh, name here. Brigandine. Yeah, it is Brigandine. Um, I remember I used to call it something else. I don't remember what it was, though. So. <laughs> uh, I was always curious about that. Man, look at these, though. We, we got we to gotta zoom in on that. That just looks so shiny. Oh, my goodness. Like, even if I do this, this looks like a really cool version of an ultimate rare. Like, this just brings back vibes of, like, um, seeing images of, like, Eradicator, Epidemic Virus, Secret Rares from Force of the Breaker back before I ever saw that card in real life. Like, oh my gosh, that, that's what it feels like. We have uh, Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. I think it's Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss in Extra Secret Rare. Let me see if I can, like, change my lighting just a little bit for that. Eh, it's about the same, I think, but it still looks very pretty. We have um, Tour Guide. I think this may be my favorite pull today. Just hands down. Man, this card just looks so, so cool. I ended up buying an extra rare copy of... Um extra secret rare copy of Ray uh, when I was in Korea and it costed roughly about 150 bucks USD or so. Um, don't regret getting that, but I feel like if I saw this in the store, I'd be so tempted to drop 100 plus on this because, man, this looks so, so cool. But I didn't even have to do that, and it probably isn't even worth that much considering it's just a, a prismatic secret rare, but I don't know. Like, these cards look so nice. We have that Alter Art Borolo Dragon, and honestly, I think when we get it in gold, we're actually going to be able to see. In case you can't tell, that's his head there. That's his body. He looks kind of like a kaiju, uh, one of uh, Shinjo Akana's creations, actually, so it looks kind of interesting um, that he looks like this. Actually, no, this is Boral Sword Dragon, I think. Um, Boral and actually, it says Boral End Dragon, so that would be Boroland, wait, no, this is a Link 5. Oh, wow. So I didn't even realize this until now. Um, if you're commenting down below that, oh, that's not Boroland Dragon, that's a Boroland Dragon. Um, yes, you're right. Uh, I just realized <laughs> it's a 3500. See, it's hard to read cards, uh, especially when they're this 
darn shiny. Um, but can you blame me? I mean, I'm still in awe with this amazing creation. Like, this looks so, so cool. And then we have, of course, the very glossy Dark Magician. I don't even know what kind of sleeve to put this thing in. It's just so cool. The back is still matte as well. You can kind of see, like, the embossed dents on there. Um, it's actually worse on camera than it is in person, I think. But, like, I don't know. Like, you could not play with this card without a sleeve. I mean, you'd be a fool to do so. But, like, even if you're a kid, I think you'd realize something's up and you shouldn't be playing with this. You might think it's fake, like a sticker if you're a kid or if, you, if you've never seen or heard about these premium golds but man that just looks so so pretty there and um yeah i'm gonna go through and show these things one more time as well but that's pretty much it let me know down below which of these products you liked more did you like the legendary gold box that we've got here did you like the rarity collection did you have a particular card uh that you really liked seeing here or if you know the set you know what would you have liked to have seen um again anything in the set basically could have been any of those rarities um so uh, lots of variations possible that we did not see and um you know alternate arts would have been cool as well but again maybe we'll see some of those in our uh, case of premium gold or maximum gold considering premium gold was the very beginning of my channel i am very much looking forward to that it's, it's just gonna be a nice uh Nice, a nice throwback, really, to the, the beginning of it all. And, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. This is JD Gaming. Let me know what you thought down below. And I'll see you guys. Oh, let me show you this one more time. <laughs> Field Center, because uh, I didn't do the recap on this guy, too. But, man, that looks very nice. But, anyway, once that's all done, I will see you guys next time. That's it for now. But feel free to grab one of these videos on your way out. If you really enjoyed what you saw today, remember to subscribe to JD Gaming for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks guys, this is JD Gaming, hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll see you guys next time.